Hey guys, welcome back to Filmspire. Today we'll talk about the most nauseating moments on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 4. A Monstrous Ear Cyst Thank you for coming all the way over here for this. <laughs> Dr. Pimmel Popper is serving up some top shelf pops on Instagram this week. This is what we in the biz call a good one, says Dr. Sandra Lee. In the video, the California-based dermatologist and TLC host treats a patient with a cyst on his ear, right at the spot where the ear joins to the head. Lee makes a circular incision over the bump. As she digs around with her tools, she realizes the cyst is very contained. It looks like I can see the sac wall very easily, so I'll probably be able to take it out, she says, noting that it's almost like a pillar cyst. And then the true pimple popping magic happens. Lee grabs grabs hold of something in there, gives it a tug, and out comes a stunningly long train of cysty goodness, sack and all. Aw, this is a cute one, Lee says. Thank you for coming all the way over here for this. Alright, we'll show you that one, she adds when the removal is done with. You're gonna like that one. Number 3. A Gigantic Lipoma On the upcoming episode of Dr. Pimple Popper, get ready to see our fearless star woman handle the heck out of a patient's giant lipoma. In an exclusive clip from the hit TLC series, we see Lee treating a patient named Kevin with a massive lump on his hip. Lee suspects it's a lipoma. One of those benign fatty growths that make plenty of appearances on Dr. Pimple Popper's Instagram. I think it's a lipoma, which is benign, but I think that that's the perfect example of somebody who has a benign growth that really affects his life. Lee says in the upcoming episode, he stopped working out, it affects his work, and it clearly affects him emotionally. Lee makes an incision across the lump, and pretty soon, she announces the diagnosis, and it's a lipoma. Next, it's time to yank the thing out of there, Lee tells Kevin. Now I'm just gonna woman handle it, okay? And woman handle it, she does. Lee proceeds to pull the huge fatty mass from under Kevin's skin, and the while making sure her patient is comfortable. To help Kevin describe the sensations he's experiencing, she says, You know what that feels like? You'll never feel it. It's like a C-section. When someone is delivering a baby, and it feels like you're tugging, but you can't feel anything painful. I know, I've been there. Done that. Number 2. A Shower Cap Cyst Dr. P uncaps a growth that she's dubbed a shower cap cyst, embedded on a woman's back. In her latest YouTube video, the little goo ball proved stubborn. Dr. Pimple Popper uses tongs and scissors to pry out the mass, which has the hue, size, and toughness of a wad of pink bubblegum, disposed of beneath a school library table last year. This has been inflamed before and squeezed before, which is understandable, says Lee. Where it is, it's easy to get to, but that does sometimes make it harder to make sure it doesn't come back. Although Lee has built an empire, millions of social media followers, skincare product lines, a TLC show from squeezing. Don't try it at home, says experts. Self-squeezing can cause scarring and even send bacteria and oil shooting deep below the skin, clogging up additional hair follicles and birthing new cysts. It can also cause pain and worsen reddening, so see a professional instead of mirroring the movements of the dermatological superstar social media videos. Number 1. A Super Juicy Blackhead okay, I'm gonna put a little pressure on you but not hurting you, right? No. Okay, good. It's like a... Dr. Pimple Popper went all Bill Nye and gave subscribers a lesson in oxidation as she pushed out a gnarly blackhead. Using a loop extractor, Sandra Lee wrestled out dark and crud from a bump on the patient's back. It looks like it's back in the video, but no one can't really tell. The insider mass, looking like a mass of dead insect bits, crumples as Lee presses down with a tool. She explains why the grizzly mass looks so dirt-like. The reason he's so dark is they're oxidized. They've hit oxygen, explained Lee, and so they're just a darker color. The ones that are trapped under there and don't get air exposed to them. Those are the one we call whiteheads. Indeed, this may be the simplest way to explain the difference between blackheads and whiteheads. Blackheads are clogged pores that with exposure to the air, turn dark and dry. Whiteheads, in which the oil and pus clings beneath the skin, keep their mushy texture and white keratin-like color. Dr. P's video gave a view of how far deep a blackhead can go, even as it depends on air for definition. They always are bigger than they look, she says. Indeed, subscribers know they always are. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.